Hi guys, just a real quick video to show you FT8 running on an Android tablet. In this case, it's a, a Samsung Galaxy Tab A6, but really doesn't make too much difference. Um, with a Zygu X5105 radio and an AL705 loop. That's it, simple as that. That's all we've got. And the connectivity between the radio and the tablet is literally just using a single audio connection to carry the transmit and receive audio so we can see here it's just a, a four pole trrs connection now in this case we're using the built-in vox on the radio if we have a look here oh, that back auto. you can see the vox is enabled so we're not using a separate um, cat control at the moment to switch the PTT but that is actually an option uh, if you're radio supported the X5105 is um, but uh, can't speak for for others you, you'd need to check it so the piece of software we're using is this package FT8CN oh, that's already running in the background actually at the moment uh, this is just putting out CQ calls so you can hear, see here CQ M0 VOX IO90 and you can see some other traffic and uh, decodes there. So there are some settings that you can uh, you can change um, depending on how you want it to operate. But uh, if I pick one, I've already worked most of them. <laughs> yeah, he's a minus sixteen, so. That might be pushing it given I'm only running five watts PEP with a loop mounted inside but you never know so actually it's a minus seven there you go so if I click and hold and select call so now it's going to put out a call back to Sugar Mike 7 Delta Oscar X-Ray from M0 VOX IO90 okay and you can see that going out on the radio. There's no monitor on this radio, so you can't actually hear the traffic, but um, you can see it. Now, yeah, no guarantee we'll get a reply, of course, but uh, usually anything up to about a thousand kilometers or so is a pretty safe bet, even with this setup. Okay, so you can see there, he did hear me, and he sent me a, a minus four report, and I'm replying to him again, uh, this time with uh, a minus seven. Okay, so he sent me a 73 and I'm just replying with a 73. Okay, and once that's sent on the uh, the next over in theory, mine should revert back to CQ. Let's just have a look, and you can see, yeah, he's in the log now. Yep, there you go, and that's worked as expected. So it's reverted back, and it's now sending out CQ calls. So that's absolutely spot on. 
Uh, I'll show you one other thing in just a sec, but let's show you the QSA log. So once you've got your logs, uh, how do you get them off? So if you click on the download button there, it'll give you a URL. Um, this is the IP address of this machine. It's connected to my Wi-Fi on port 7050. If you weren't connected to, uh, to Wi-Fi, you could just go to localhost or the, uh, the loopback address 127001, either way, and access it using the local browser. I won't show you that, but uh, but I have tested it, it works fine. And then you can download the ADF uh, file and um, import it onto whatever your log package is and do whatever you need to with it from there. So that's all pretty straightforward. If we go back to calling, I'm just gonna show you one other thing. So if you click on settings, you can automate this. So rather than picking stations you wanna call, you can select, or, or indeed putting out CQ calls, if you enable the auto call tracked option, what it'll then do is it look at the decodes and it'll uh, it'll pick them out and automatically reply to them. There you go. So you can see it's picked out Echo Whiskey Eight Golf Tango, and it's sending uh, sending a reply. So you can leave that running automatically if you want. And uh, and then if there's something specific or a specific station you want to call, or you want to revert to putting out CQ calls, um, you can just select your call from the drop down, either way, or change the settings back. You go back into settings, so just turn off the auto track call again. But uh, yeah, it's quite a nice feature. It's actually enabled by default, so it's worth bearing in mind if you, you do try this out and you're wondering why it just keeps calling everyone. That's probably why. But, um, okay, so that's pretty much it. If you want to travel light, maybe do a bit of uh, FT8 portable out in the field, maybe going on or hold air or something. Um, that's all you need. An Android tablet, a simple audio connection, assuming that you've got a radio that supports Vox for uh, for digital modes out of the box, and uh, a loop antenna or whatever, whatever else, maybe a, an infrared half, half wave or something of that ilk. So um, that's it for now, guys. Just a, uh, just a quick one. Hopefully that was useful. Cheers. Catch you on the next.